Thank you. Thank you for the audience. Thank you, President, to, to host me there in this panel. Uh, my name is Xavier Poisson, and I am the Vice President for Cloud Computing in HP in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. I've been building the cloud story at HP for the past five years, and uh, I just wanted to take this, this opportunity to give you some real feedback from the ground on some, uh, some new ideas that we believe could help to unleash the potential of cloud computing in the EU. If we consider everything that has been said here, it was wonderful. The open data, uh, the open remark of the president uh, with the different uh, collaboration with the different uh, countries. If you have a look at all of that, we speak about data centers. We spoke about telecommunication. But there is one fundamental thing that has not been addressed. And it is a value proposition that I came here to put on the table, is really to think about the creation of what I would call a common framework for a service catalog in the EU. When you think about how the cloud computing can benefit to the countries in the EU, the citizens, the mean market, how we can use cloud computing to reduce, and it has been said, the debt of our countries in the EU. What is missing there? What is missing is the usage, ladies and gentlemen. We have hundreds of data centers, as you said also, in the EU, who are empty, fully empty, who have been built in order we provide some cloud services. And today, guess what? If nothing is moving, they will go for bankruptcy. Because there is no usage. So now, we thought about that at HP, and because we are, we are not a big cloud service provider, we are enabling companies to, or government to build their cloud without technology, nothing more. If you have a look at big companies, who have been doing in the, and you asked me for foreign experience, in the US or in other places, some large cloud. What was it about? During the past five, six years, they have invested in huge capacity, building data centers, putting a lot of hardware in, in order to serve. The second big thing they have done is to create a huge telecommunication network. And as you said, we have that in, in the EU. And if you consider players on the planet like Google, like Amazon, like some other companies, what is the third element that enables them to attract developers in order that new applications are brought on the table, in order they can be consumed by a huge market across the planet? A service catalog on a unique service catalog for their offer. If you are working with uh, Amazon or Google, everywhere on the planet you can subscribe to the same service, coming from any horizon of all the planet. Why are, you, are we waiting all together in the EU to create this kind of framework in order that all the cloud service providers inside the EU who have been powering some data centers or the government who have been investing in building the data centers can benefit from a single common framework of service catalog for application creation, attracting the developers, avoiding that all our young people are flying to the US or Singapore to build apps. This is something we should think about. I would say that we have good experience in that. And we have been investing in that uh, dimension. And uh, let's have a dream. At the, hour when, at the time when we all suffer in the EU from uh, our debt, for all government uh, need to collect money as quickly as possible in order that we have a safe economy and we can re-inject in the small and medium business. And if a tax collection system with electronic cashiers that would collect automatically into a cloud 300 million euros every day without having 
to subscribe, to put declaration, and to avoid grey market, if such an application was made in one of the EU country, why shouldn't it be brought immediately through a service catalogue to all the other countries? This can be done today. I can tell you, we have invested heavily in one of the fundamental pieces, and it was mentioned before, of the progress of cloud computing and the progress of the small and medium business, education. Today, to tell you, with one single service catalogue, we have been able to get more than 120,000 students in less than six months 120,000 students, we are very specific students because they are self-entrepreneurs, to connect to a single platform, a single service catalog powered by clouds in every single